We as customers expect our products to be available in the supermarket at all times, and we want them to be as freshly produced as possible. But at the same time, we have frustrations about food waste. And in fact, one third of our food goes to waste. So if this is such a problem, why hasn't it been addressed at scale? I'm here today with two experts in the field, Jochem and Karel Jan, and I'm curious, food waste is such a big problem globally in terms of environment, in terms of food security. How big is this problem really? And what is the upside of reducing food waste? Well, food waste is a massive problem, Stefan. It's huge. Just to put it in perspective, it's uh, equivalent to 10% of global greenhouse gas emissions. It's equivalent to one quarter of all the fresh water that's used in the world today goes to f producing food that will never be eaten. And about 28% of all the cropland in the world, equivalent to the surface of the United States, India and Egypt altogether, is being used to produce food that will never be eaten. So it's a huge problem. And there's also a big financial aspect to it, because the cost associated with all this equals about one trillion dollars. And finally, the social aspect is, if we could halve food waste, then we could feed about 800 million people, which is the number of people that are in serious lack of nutrition. So we could end world hunger. So it's a massive problem. All right, so the problem of food waste is evident. What are the contributing factors of food waste and what are also the potential solutions to it? Yeah, if you look at the uh, potential factors that are the cause of food waste and uh, that is uh, about product specifications, yeah? so uh, improving product specifications. Uh, it's about uh, disconnected supply chains and the solution is to share more information and have a better forecast in your supply chain. It's about rescue and reuse of waste that is uh, uh, focusing on solutions on that. And it's about uh, changing consumer behaviors. As for the last part, for Carrefour, we are doing an implementation of Wasteless that helps consumers buying products that go over expiry dates so that you don't have to throw it away again. So they're really, retailers can have, they have a pivotal role in changing this and reducing food waste and food loss. Right, so the role of retailers in the food supply chain and this in food waste is huge. Yeah. Um, what are the benefits for retailers to adopt the strategy to reducing food waste? Well, retailers are obviously a very important part of the food value chain. So if they contribute to reducing food waste, they'll help their own sustainability strategy. Moreover, consumers actually demand both producers as well as retailers to contribute. So it will also help on that uh, perspective to get better customer loyalty, which in the end also plays a pivotal and, and positive role in upgrading their brand image. And finally, there's also a cost element to it, because if we can reduce food waste, then food will eventually will become less expensive. So there's four benefit areas for, uh, for retailers. Right, so if those are the benefits, what are then the critical success factors for retailers to really start with this? The first one is focus in their, operate, in their, in their organization. And focus on not only reducing food waste within their own walls, but reducing food waste within the total value chain. The second one is leverage of data and tech. They can, that can really help reducing food waste. The third one is think big, but start small and learn how to start small and scale. And the fourth one is uh, collaboration within the, within the value chain. And Capgemini can really help on those four aspects. So that sounds like a really comprehensive problem and also what retailers really have to start off with yeah. today as yeah. going on for a long time. Yeah. Well, thanks for sharing your, uh, your input, your contributions. You're and welcome. I hope you will think twice whenever you buy something in the supermarket later today. Thanks for watching Capgemini Event Talks.